Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Lennis 2, this is Mysterious JG. May have to cut this video off suddenly, I've got somebody who's on their way, and I'm hoping to squeeze in a video before they get here. These are indeed the Gabbana Mines alright, but recently they've become very dark and dangerous inside. So to rule, the demon, the hunting demon of the mines has flown into an uncontrollable rage all of a sudden. Can I rest here? Sway! What? Swoosh! Sway! Swoosh! Okay. Find blue dogs and green, or orange cats, excuse me, who go sway and swoosh. That is what this place is about, folks. Hey, if you expect to have any chance of surviving, you must return to Nigel and find a spark lamp. Motherfucker! What were you thinking? If you came here looking for easy riches, you'd be much better off at home. That's the wisest and safest choice. I have to go back to town now that I've paid this asshole for... A f Maybe there's some kind of background fudging I can do. Shit. Yes, we'll accept your mission. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to waste money on this douche. Alright, so we just gotta go back and do some stuff over. Sorry. Because the uh, guy wanted to leave my party unless I gave him money. He's gonna make me give him money every time. Every time we go to that place, he's gonna ask for more money. Hello, stranger. You want a green card? Yay, whatever. Daryl, evil dude. He told us we gotta go to the mines. Now we gotta buy the damn spark lamp. Otherwise... We gotta pay this jerk to do his job, which is to be one of my party members. Twice. Is everyone that stupid? What sort of life do they expect to find outside the slums? Why you can't make a good living right here? If you're not too particular about how you go about it. Uh. So you're a hooker. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. It's the world's oldest profession. I have never hooked, and I've never been a patron of a hooker, but, um. You know, to each their own. The Nigel area is huge, accompanying five separate entities, including the Great Castle. Oh, is he one of the Turtlehead kids? I have yet to see anyone in the slums. Is he going to tell us that we smell? Someday when we finally be granted access out of the slums, we'll be able to see the Nigel Castle, but that's pretty much not going to happen, so. Move over, little Goyle. We're trying to search for stuff we can steal. Alright, Gloucester is, like, awesome. More Turtle kids. Major metropolitan areas constantly evolving. The Hammond still was only a hamlet. The slums will have evolved up no fashionable Nigel district, sure. If only you could reach it somehow. By getting captured. These kids are very well spoken. They're saying words like adjacent and secretive. <laughs> Wait, secretive what? For good hill, the site of the two great churches lies adjacent to the Hammond Hills. One is called the Brotherhood of the White Cross, and the other is the highly secretive Black Cross Brotherhood. Guess which one turns out to be evil? Oh, that little girl is, like, blocking our access to awesome treasure. No. Okay, maybe in theory she's... And, of course, there's nothing actually there. Of course there's nothing there. Dear America, of course, of course. Sell me the frickin' lamp, you. Yeah, sure, fill my bottles. Oh, my bottles are already full, it's because I'm awesome. Sell me a spark lamp. You don't sell spark lamps, what's your problem? Give me something to eat. I'm hungry. Another item shop around here is the bar. Let's go to the top floor of the bar again. Yeah, get out of my way, you. Get out of the freaking way! Holy shit, get out of the way, buddy. God damn. Didn't we. Wait, wasn't there a f way to go further up from here? Maybe this person we talked to was like, oh. 
that we talked to somebody who was like... It wasn't downstairs, because that's where the stupid, uh... Woohoo, there's pee leaking into the booze place was. The music's pretty awesome when it's spit up like this. Oh, the spirit shop, okay. I think I'm fine with the way my spirits are currently arranged. Nice if I knew where to buy is the lamp that I need. You look appears to have run out. What sort of loser are you? Oh, f don't be a jerk. Okay, so he's not going to tell me anything new. Please don't pee while standing up. <laughs> Funny. They are discussing urine. Ha 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 ha. Young men preferred. Uh oh. Tara's in. Tara, you a little hoe bag. Hey, you. Looking for a room? Yep. Hey, that's swell. Fine looking chap like you. I'll even throw in a late checkout at no extra charge. So, you want to run my rooms for a thousand gold? No, I see. Why are you staring at me like I'm some sort of slatterny landlady? What? Thousand gold for a room. Seems a little ridiculous. Tara, this, this inn's landlady rents only to young men. It may be a coincidence, but all of them are handsome. She comes and does us in the middle of the night, Reggie. <laughs> Sorry. This is Tara, Tara. Zara, Zara. Uh, there. Okay, so she's coming in and, uh, She's doing people in the middle of the night, apparently. That's great. Your parents are going to want to do it in here, Reggie. You know, I'm a big fan of Rift Tracks, Mystery Science Theater, Cinematic Titanic, etc. Rift Tracks had a particularly funny short that I saw reasonably recently where... I think it was called uh, Beginning Responsibility, Taking Care of Your Things, Teaching a Little Kid to Clean His Room. Because it features the things in his room coming to life, and... Um, Telling him that his parents are going to want to do it in here. So many poor and sick people are suffering in these miserable slums. I came here to try to help Reggie. Unfortunately, I need lots of money to make even a small dent in the many problems. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask for a small contribution. Just 200 gold, that's all. Sure. Oh my. Oh joy. Many, many thanks. And we'll be really, really happy for sure still. Uh, I hate to take advantage of your kind disposition, but I'd like to ask for another 200 gold donation. Could you grant such a meager amount? Oh, joy, many, many things. Everyone will be really happy for sure. Still, uh, see how often I can do this. I understand I can't force you. Donations made from the heart, you see. I was the one who erred. I asked the wrong fellow. Someone really poured hard. Oh, yeah, what a douche. Okay, so uh, people in this town are kind of just always looking to rip you off. Got it. Okay, move to the Gloucester District. Where do I buy the damn, um... Where do I buy the damn lamp? I want the lamp. Give me the lamp. I think I was already here, and I think they didn't do it for me. One night's lodging will cost your group 55 gold. Will you be staying? Yes. I haven't slept in a long time, actually. And if I were playing Fallout New Vegas in hardcore mode, that would be a real problem, Reggie. Not that I was playing that. Not that I've been trying to get an LP of that going and running into constant resistance from my computer. I didn't mean to do that. Let's come back down here. Let's go over here. Oh, 
Welcome, stranger, to my lodge called the Thrifty Inn. Okay, so he's actually charging more than uh, the other guy was, who just, like, kind of gives us a room. Now, he might have stolen our gold in the night. 500 gold was pocketed. Nice. Did he steal our gold in the night? Doesn't look like it. Ruby's letter is also called the Thrifty Inn. A good place to rest for between forays into the countryside. 100 gold isn't that bad, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we found cheaper. Oh, let's see what they got here. Command knife! Wow, that does a lot of... That's really expensive, though. Even Myra can use it. Well, Ferris definitely needs a better attack. I don't know if I want to go with a command knife, though. This seems to be really expensive. Maybe I'll just get him the middle sword. And we'll, uh, I'll either have to, to work off screen to level up and get better stuff, or the middle sword. Brings his defense down by seven, and uh, there was a reason I was not using it, wasn't there? Oh, well, his attack is going up by like 16. So it's probably a good idea. Be really nice if somebody was selling those damn lamps that we apparently need. I'm hungry. I'm itchy. Oh, this place is even cheaper. Not by enough to make a real difference, but it is cheaper. So I do feel like I was mildly taken in by paying 55. Hello, I'm Gond Braff of the Gort Tribe. Magic is my strong point, but if it's sheer power you require, I can't be beaten. I'm sure you will find good uses for me. You may honor my services for only 700 folk gold. No thanks. Not right this second. What about you, friend? Hee <laughs> You would need my help. How about it? Would you like to hire me, boss? I'll help you out for mere 280 gold. Leave the fancy footwork and speed techniques to me. I just did that. Darn it. Alright. Well, he was in a couple of battles, I think, on the way here. So let's get rid of... Um, the asshole who doesn't want to go into battle. Clay. When the money's gone, the work's done. They say, that's yeah, so they say, You're right, Ferris? Bye bye now, have fun. Yeah, get lost, asshole. Alright. I want to switch my party members around because, um. Because I want, like, you know, crazy lady warrior to lead the way. She looks. <laughs> This looks awesome. Hi, I've got weird middle-aged haircut, but I'm crazy awesome. All right, let's get this guy. I'm Gond Broth of the Gort Tribe. No one can beat me. When it comes to root strength, I'm invincible. It's my forte. Oh, let's get him for a while. Will you hire Gond? Yeah, sure. We'll come back and get that little speedy dude at some point before this is all over, probably. Let's get him in the party. Let's order them around. Gone should probably be at the front. Then Myra and Melina can switch places. Excellent. 
Do, 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 do. I've got a dinosaur body. Do, 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 do. I have a dinosaur body. It is kind of creepy. Yay, he's can't wear pants, apparently. That's uh, his own business. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back, we'll have our pantsless uh, dinosaur uh, leader take us into... Well, you know what? Let's quick check and see if he'll go into that cave without, like, demanding more money. If he does, I will feel stupid that we hired him. No, oh, I've got to go all the way down there. Okay. Taking a lot of damage from those guys. Yeah, and Gon just seemed to be taking a lot of damage there. Maybe he really does need some armored pants. Anybody gonna say a bunch of crap about how they refuse to go in? No. Good. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. When we come back, maybe we have to go here and find out that we can't see before it will let us buy the dang uh, lantern. Either way, Clay sucked, and I'm glad to be rid of him. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.